All right, boys and girls, so today we are marbling. When you first begin, we are going to have a bucket right Chris. here. Please don't. And this is going to be your clean paper bucket for everyone at your station. This right here, this where you can see the pink paper, is going to be where we are going to be squeegeeing. So this is a squeegee, and that will always be right here. So we'll talk about that in a minute. Everyone is going to need two pieces of paper, and you're going to write your name on the back of it. I don't want your stickers involved. So, Ms. Taylor, if you follow me over here, you are going to choose a piece of paper from this side. So I'll choose this color here. And then you are going to choose one from the darker area. The darker you get, the less your marbling might show up. So you may, so I'll just, you know, maybe do this one, just for myself. When I come back, one, I'm not, nothing's dirty, I'm going to write my name, Ann H, and who are you guys? Group four. Three. <laughs> five, three. So I'm going to write five, three on it. If you were in Miss Rivera's class, then you would write Rivera on the back. So I'm writing Ann H, my first name and my last initial. And I'm writing the class I am, which for you guys is 5-3. So it could be that because everyone's clean papers are in here, that you're going to have to be respectful of each other and try not to cook up each other's papers. Now, I'm going to move the clean paper out of the way so Ms. Taylor can see. The first thing you're going to be doing after I put the shaving cream on is using the rubber spatula to just kind of spread it out and even it out. You're going to make a nice, even surface. And why don't we just always agree that the spatula will go right here on the edge. That's just a nice place for it to rest. The next thing is that we have eyedroppers. This will spill over if you're rough with it. Marbling is a slow and you know, quiet process. It's not a race. So what you'll do is you're going to squeeze in, so let's say some pink. And you're going to come and you're going to drip it. I would say maybe like 10 drops of a color would be great. Notice that I'm not going, you know, squeezing it all out at once. I do a gentle squeeze so that I can, I can get all of that out. Now, notice that I'm not going over here by the edges because my paper is only this big. So there's no need to be getting paint over here. Does everyone understand that? Yes. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to take my last color. To get the ink to come in, you have to squeeze here while it's in the liquid and then you release and that's what sucks it up into the eyedropper. And so I'm going to come here and I'm just going to spread out my drops. Just kind of, This is very similar to what we saw in the video where we're spreading out the thing. Now it's my job to do something a little different and I'll show you a couple different techniques. What we saw him do in the video was just to start to do this. So I'm going through the shaving cream and I'm just going back and forth like this. And like I said, we want to keep things relatively clean. So this bamboo skewer, I have this here. If you just want to wipe it off, that's great. And then I bought these combs. And you can see this is all stuff you could buy from the dollar store if you want yeah. to go home and do this. And this you could use food coloring if you ever wanted to do it at home. And um, shaving cream is a dollar at the dollar store also. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come through here with my comb. Sick. Now what's kind of fun, if you're really good, you can go back through it and, and do, and it makes almost like a feathery design. So now um, we can just rest this on here since this has shaving cream on it and we're ready to print. I'm going to take this, I'm going to push it down, and I'm going to, I'm not down to the bottom because you know what's going to happen if I push super hard. It's all, all the shaving cream is going to come up. But you do want to make sure that you have pushed every part of it into the shaving cream. Then I'm going to lift it up. Oops. Not enough. Let's what see. happened? There wasn't enough shaving cream on it. Okay. Now that I'm finished, I'm going to make my way over here. And this is the squeegee area. This is the only section that you'll do this in. You'll hold it. You'll bring this across. Oh. And now you can see what you've made. You can reach over and get this because this is not waste. You can just take this off, put it back in here, and that can get used again. And then this can just wait here in the squeegee area. What you'll do now is take this to the drying rack, and you're probably going to have to wait for some other people. Now, as 
soon as someone leaves here and comes over here, the next person who is like, I want to go, I want to go, I can't wait to do it, can start. And let me show you what that next person would do. And I'll just do it with my second sheet of paper. So someone comes upon this, someone else's mess. You're like, thanks a lot. No, it's fine. Take the rubber spatula, just kind of go like this. Oh, and cool. already you could just go with that because that kind of turns out sort of cool. Or you can go ahead and add some more color to it. And you may decide that you don't want all the different colors. So maybe if I, maybe if I just do blue. And you might decide, okay, I'm just going to take the bamboo skewer and I'm going to go like this. I'm just going to do this kind of pattern and see what happens. You never really know what's going to turn out, so I take this, I push down. I peel it back up. That's so weird that it's not coming with it, but it actually turns out kind of cool. Um, I'll try it again. Mm -hmm. Usually the, the shaving cream sticks to it. Okay. Yeah. And now I'm going to come over here, and as soon as I step away, next person can move in, okay? <laughs> and start on something else. So you need to move. Scoochie, scoochie. <laughs> I'm going to squeegee the whole thing off. And now I have, it's darker, but I have another beautiful piece of paper. All of this, just kind of clean up your station with the squeegee, get rid of this, and off you go. You ready to go? Yes. Okay. Two pieces of paper. Yes. Two pieces of paper. Two pieces of paper. Now I'm wishing I had bought one of those for every table group. All right, so how do we turn this off?